so as you know that uh, presently we are studying managing the garbage what we produce yes or no so usually two things we are, so we are studying in this concept that is how do our activities affect the environment the first concept we studied in the last before class depletion of ozone layer that is the major important one and the second one managing the garbage what we produce so if you will notice it in, in the last class i taught you the totally five methods how we can treat the garbage garbage means what our domestic wastage that is only we used to call it as garbage so a lot of wastages we have so that managing the garbage which will produce so basically based upon the type of material either biodegradable or non-biodegradable we will use to produce uh, some of the important modes of waste disposal in that only what is that guys anybody can tell me the first one is what the first method is recycling and the second one is please respond preparation, preparation of compost yeah preparation of compost next the third method is incineration and the fourth method is sewage landfill landfill, landfill. and as well as the last one is called as sewage treatment so this all the things already we people will discuss discuss it so recycling preparation of compost incineration landfill and sewage treatment so based upon the type of wastage we have to use it for example recycling if we we'll take we can reuse it into a hanging lamp shades which are uh, like in our home and all you can see that uh, with the uh, help of damaged materials or something we can make a new kind of decorative items and etc etc so that is only we can say recycling so same way preparation of compost as i told you biodegradable wastes such as like leftover food fruits and vegetable peels and all if you will uh, buried inside the earth so that it will converting into manure so which will make the soil fertile so like that incineration so what do you mean by incineration guys just we are melting like a solid waste so means in the sense of a solid waste what do you mean by incineration guys reducing to ash is it a sir now so reducing to ashes is only called as incineration so incineration mainly will concentrate on volume of the wastage do you understand everybody so volume we will reduce and we will dump in the landfills so that is only we used to call it as incineration means we will heat uh, we will heat above 1000 degrees celsius so that it will be melt and it will turns into ash so the volume of that of even big huge amount of waste is that is also which waste organic waste it will be turns into uh, it will be turns into ash and during this process it will release two gases what is that guys anybody during incineration it will release two gases one is carbon dioxide plus one another one is what water vapor yes or no so that is all we people studied in the last class so now coming to here the next landfill so landfill means what just like as i told you tirichi you can see while you are coming from chennai a big uh, hill of mountain where all the garbage is dumped and a particular place where we will buried inside the soil and this is the temporary method we will like for considerable time only we can store like all the kinds of all the kinds of wastes just we will put low lying areas of the ground and covering with the soil that is only we used to call it as landfill just we will dig it and we will dump in there and we will cover with the soil it's not that only biodegradable all the kinds of thing so that is only we can keep this uh, like waste materials for only considerable times in this landfillings next you can see this landfilling is must be done under the home guys or oh, this is not so this incineration this incineration must be done by municipality corporations so uh, whatever it is taking so municipalities uh, city municipalities or town municipalities so like whatever it is there so they only will be take care of this so because it is dealing with a very high temperatures and all so under the supervision only it has been suggested to follow so same way if we we'll take sewage treatment as i told you sewage means what what do you mean by sewage guys 
dirty drain water do you understand everybody so dirty drain water is only we used to call as sewage water means from our uh, toilet or bathroom whatever the water is coming that is only we used to call as sewage water is yes or no guys so now if you notice it please respond so that is what we used to call as sewage water so what we will do this dirty drain water which contains urine feces yes or no and everything so this all the things f a f a c e s okay so all the feces urine and all this is only we used to call as dirty drain water so what we will do here so which is carried out from our homes uh, by sewage pipes or underground pipes so this all will treated uh, like before dumping into the river we will separate it everything and we will dump into the rivers so that is only means separating this uh, we will give the treatment treatment in the sense of all unnecessary things like urine feces and all like uh, excretory things and all everything will be separated from the water and we can dump into that water into the water body so that what is happening as i told you like yesterday ganga river water is turns into the black color understand because of the continuous pollution of the surrounding areas they are dumping the all the drainage water sewage system completely into the rivers or near water bodies without any treatment so that it is uh, decomposing inside the water and is producing very bad smell so that it is even releasing so many even a uh, poisonous gases also so that is what it is even industrial waste is that uh, they are dumping without treatment so this all the things causes what water pollution so that this is sewage uh, everything so the sewage treatment if you notice it it is used to produce if you go if you separate this urine whatever the thing uh, you extract this if you give proper treatment to the dirty drain water then it is used to produce sewage gas so which we people can use for a cooking purposes that is only example what we can say guys sewage gas it is like a biogas yes or no biogas and as well as once it is de uh, decomposed this urine and feces once it is decomposed it will turns into manure a uh, mm. good fertile for the agriculture land yes or no guys so good fertile so that we can use it for crop production understand so this is what this all the things the, all the five methods of the treatment how we how we need to manage with the waste is what we produce is it okay everybody so there so yeah so now the things what we are going to study see this all the managing the garbage what will produce we need to follow this all the five methods so those who not attended yesterday's class you can watch it and you can complete it but that is a very important now let us comes to the today's class so what we are going to study is so we will make one example do you understand everyone so all the materials we can classify into two types what is that anybody can tell me all the wastes we can classify into two types that is what starting of this chapter also we studied anybody please biodegradable non biodegradable yeah, very good biodegradable and non biodegradable non biodegradable yeah, guys so yeah, let me give we will make one example now so as we know biodegradable and as well as non biodegradable yes or no so now let us comes to here what it is and how it will make that uh, let me discuss now so if we'll give an example uh, which will illustrate the use of biodegradable what is the importance of use of biodegradable instead of non biodegradable materials which can make a difference to our environment so if we we'll use the biodegradable how it will help or useful to our environment and same way if we we'll use non biodegradable how it will affect let us discuss with an example now what that example is very famous example and it is a more important one which use usually came in even sahodaya paper now in our itself i will show you how to explain it. so let us take tea now tea we used to drink in where guys tea cups yes or no please respond yes tea cups please respond so now this tea cups for example you people are started journey from pudukote to chennai towards to chennai via train so you might be notice it is not for you might be you might be not noticing now so before 
10 years or even before five years, if you'll be, if we have been boarded into the any train, understanding there was a time when teen train was served in plastic glasses. Do you understand everybody? What it is? Plastic glasses they used to give the tea. Yes, really. It is uh, long back. If you'll go five, six years, even uh, ten years before exactly, if you'll go, if you'll be boarded into the train. So all the tea will be served into the plastic glasses. Do you understand everybody? Please respond, Bumiga. So now these plastic glasses, if you'll see, which had to return to the vendor, means after drinking, everybody need to return. Are you understanding guys? So return to the sellers or vendor. So who will sell the tea in the trade? That is what the duty. So then what will happen? If you'll sell back to the vendor, so similarly, like if you'll go to the any shop in Pudugoda or somewhere, you can see the same glass which has been again and again, they will wash and they will give to the different customers. Yes or no, guys? But that washing is not proper. Please respond. Is it yes or no? You might be noticing. So they won't be washed properly. Simply they will dip it and they will give. Have you feel it or not? Every open your mouth, correct? So that is the problem. If you go even in big, big shops, also you might be noticing that cups, how they wash it, with what water they wash it, same water they are using more times. So that is the problem. So if you see the long back trains, they used to serve the tea in plastic glasses. After drinking, we have to return to the vendor so that here one problem will come. What is that? So it's not maintained properly means in the sense of not a hygienic thing. Do you understand everybody? So that is what the hygienic thing to do. So that is what will happen. So later what they will do, later to use on disposal plastic cups, they will introduce that is what which are used once and then thrown away. That is what they have been done. So, so what they have been done, second step. So few days they have been used with the same plastic glasses which we need to uh, return to the vendor so that they are not maintaining properly, like hygienic problem, washing not properly with the hot water and all. So maybe some diseases also will spread. The person who has been taken the tea first might be having some mouth ulcers and all. It may be go to next because it is not washed properly. So that is the reason. So that is why later the train, they have been, government has been uh, uh, like brought that they are disposal plastic cups, means in the sense of once it is used, we can throw it again. That's all. Like normal water plastic cups and all. So these disposal plastic cups, they won't uh, biodegradable. Just it's not a biodegradable. Just we can use it once and we can throw. That is what. So only uh, use and throw. Do you understand everybody? So use and throw cups, uh, they have been bought. So now, PHR whatever. Yes. Now, if you take use and throw cups, then they have been bought this. But after that also, see, it was very hygienic to use disposal plastic cups for drinking tea. But if you take here, here one problem we have. So disposal plastic cups is a suitable solution, correct solution. But here we have a one, one problem. What is that, guys? Anybody? What's it? Hello, anybody? Suppose, suppose, see, every day in the trains, millions of people will travel. Yes or no, guys? Please respond. Millions of people will travel. Yes or no, Arvin? So now these millions of people, if they will use this millions of plastic cups, disposal plastic cups, everybody, maximum members, when they're traveling in train, they will take the tea. So millions of disposal cups, they have been used. So that what is happening, guys? Please respond. Disposal cups are used so that daily basis it will produce a say a huge amount of understand wastage so which is become wastage it will become a very big problem because everywhere in the rail tracks understanding train tracks railway stations and all all the dust bins roadside tracks like at uh, sides of the rail rail tracks and all completely filled with these plastic cups you understand because everywhere people are used to started throwing it is happened in india that is what i'm saying so once they have been introduced this use and throw 
uh, disposal plastic curves every day millions of cups are seeing on the sides of the railway stations and uh, railway platforms so that is why it is become it is based uh, like opposed to a big problem so that is why some time back after that they have been came with a new idea that is what you might be heard called as kuldas have you heard kuldas please respond kuldas you might be notice it like a, which is made with a clay have you seen guys please respond you might be see if you go to the some hotel still it is used to serve it is so they have been used to serve with a disposable understanding cups which is made by clay or sorry made of clay so that is what the government has been introduced in the train so that is only ways to call it as kuldas how many of you know kuldas please respond kavya so they have started giving the kuldas and they were introduced for serving tea in the trains but here also problem so however they have been realized that the use of lot of clay for making millions of kuldas daily leads to the loss of soil that is what a fertile top do you understand guys so fertile top soil from the fields so that every day we have to make millions of cups millions of cups so that complete soil will be eradicated so that like in a sense of uh, it will be used so what is happening all the good fertile soils everything it has been gone so lot of clay for making millions of kuldas or it is even making kuldas also it is very uh, like uh, millions of kuldas every day needed so it is time taken process and as well as a cost effective also means people need to so, so many man force is needed to make it and what is happening a soil it is a fertile top soil from the fields is removed loss of that is what you need to remove so loss of fertile top soil from the fields okay the, that is what which you are using to make kuldas so that is the reason kuldas also it is not going to be existed so now three over one is what first one first one a plastic glasses which you need to return to the vendor so because of hygiene we have been stopped that second disposal plastic cups we have been used uh, and what is happening millions of cups are generating every day which will become a big problem that is what pollution waste is huge amount of waste is everywhere next instead of that we went to disposal cups made by clay so that they thought that they will be mixed with the soil again there is no kind of pollution problem but the soil which we are using in making the kuldas so that it is from the uh, fertile lands will take so that it is causing a loss of fertile top soil from the fields so that is why at last you can see the practice of using kuldas is also discontinued because of a large soil has been used to make kuldas so that is the reason so now these days if it comes to here presently if you go to any kind of train if you boarded then they will give you some kind of cups what is that cups guys can anybody say nidinath arvin sanjay so now if you will go to the train they will give you certain kind of cups what is that paper cups sir yes that is disposable paper cups prema so that is what i will say disposable paper, paper cups which are being used because they will be never created any kind of problem environmental problem so once it is used it will throw in the surface of the earth also they will be started converting into degradable so they will be making into what will happen is non polluting to the environment so this is what is happening our indian railways these many changes has been occurs so now presently we are continuing with the paper cups which are producing which are not harmful enough to the environment and it will within a less period of time they will be converted means they will be degradable so that is the things which i have been using so now if you we'll take so then what is the use this is what the example i said these many things we have been using in our just taking a tea in our trains so now you can see here these paper cups so what is the importance of these paper cups the use of disposable paper cups we have a lot of advantages over the plastic cups so instead of plastic cups see both are pp so instead of plastic cups 
So if you use the paper cups, we have a lot of advantages. So first of all, paper cups are what guys? Degradable, biodegradable, anybody? Kimaira, please respond. Bumriga, anyone? So what is that there? They are all what? Biodegradable. Yes or no? Very good, Tarani. So paper cups are biodegradable. So that what is happening? They will never cause us. They are not harmful to the environment. So that is what the first thing. So biodegradable. So even paper cups are thrown away after use. They will decompose. Means they will start break down and they will be converting into, they will mix with the soil. So automatically, all the microorganisms which are present inside the soil, they will start within a due course of time. Okay, it will be converting into a fertile or else some kind of it mix it with the soil. But if you take the paper cups, paper cups, what are they guys? Paper cups, non biodegradable, yes or no? So that what is happening, even they will cause this environmental problem, they will remind such and they will pollute the environment because no microorganisms no microorganisms will affect these kind of plastic cups so that is why no functioning no work with the microorganisms so that this will cause us pollution environmental pollution that is why the importance of paper cups same way if you notice it these paper cups even we can be disposed by a burning without causing much air pollution you understand if you feel a fast decomposition like a, a disposing then we can burn it also but if you'll notice it burning uh, like burning but it will what happen it will be produces less air pollution but if you burn the plastic it will cause us more air pollution or not guys uh, it is because more plastic will produce even very harmful gases also. So which may cause us, you might be notice it in a, like a medical, medical midi waste and all, they are burning in a Singham 3 movie. Surya Singham 3 movie, you might be see where school children will die because of breathing the poisonous gases. Have you, have you watched that scene? Harini? So that is what it is. So burning of this plastic cup, paper cups may not cause us much air pollution so that even we can dispose by burning also. What is that? Paper cups. Disposed by burning also, but it will cause us less air pollution. So if we take, suppose plastic cups, plastic cups, and if you'll burn, then it is used to produce very toxic gases. So which is toxic means we can say poisonous understand so poisonous gases which will cause us to the too much of air pollution and also so many problems of too much air pollution and it is causes so much of breathing difficulties for all the organisms so that is the importance of plastic cups which we are using so paper cups which we are using in present all most of the event you can see tea shops also so wherever you will feel uh, even the glass cups, you might be noticing. So even I am seeing it, even the steel cups they are giving. So this all, they are not maintaining properly. You might be see them, they're where they're washing. If you go to the tea shop, once you will order the tea, have you noticed it? The hygiene, even your surroundings also, you might be noticing it. It may be road or maybe inside the school or outside the school or whatever it is in your, uh, out of your home. Your home means mother knows everything. But out of the people, if you notice it, even they're providing the steel cups, which is not polluting glass cups, we can reuse, reuse and again and again and again, but they are not maintaining proper hygiene. Have you seen guys? Please respond. So hygiene is not maintained. They are not washing properly. Particularly, I'm noticing even Pudavad. So, so many places, the same water they are using to wash, understand more number of uh, glass, glass cups and steel cups so that it will cause us maximum spreading of diseases. That is why go to the tea shop, please kindly ask them a disposable paper cups. Understand everybody? So this was disposable paper cups and mainly you might be noticing if you visited even 
uh, tea shops, Stephen shops and all, even Pani Puri centers and all, they are giving the plastic cups, have you noticed it, which are they are reusing again and again and again. So this, this is a very dangerous one because down they are washing the water, same water for so many people. That is why you might be see, once I noticed it, I used to stop eating like the places where they will give you like thermocol like paper cups are coming. Have you noticed it guys? where they will give you the, just we can, after eating, we can throw them and it will be degradable material. So like that places only you try to prefer or else if possible like tea classes, the tea cups and all, wherever it is available, that shop only we have to have it because that is the minimum responsibility. These plastic glasses and all, they are not washing properly because it's like, it's like that so they can wash correct, but majority of the people without keeping in hot water, we should not supposed to serve to the next one, but it's not happening in most of the places. That is why. So maintain that hygiene because it will lead to a lot of problems, health problems, particularly for every, even boys and as well as girls. So this is what the example, which I want to say you from differences between uses of biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So these many things happen in our Indian railways. So now finally we have been sticked with the uh, paper cups where we can easily, uh, it's not much effect to the environment. That is what you need to understand. So now let us discuss, this is all about guys, this our environment chapter is completed. Now definitely five marks questions will come. I don't know how you people will do. So it is very mandatory chapter where you can score easily five out of five. So those who are incomplete, kindly finish it all. So this, with this today, this chapter is over. Now I will show you why it is important because you should understand correct. So that is what so many things that is not important. So that is the reason I'm showing you. Please, you can call your friends, please make it fast, tell them to join. So now if you'll notice it, let us go to our CBSC uh, sample question paper, which has been released. This all you all people know, yes or no, please respond. Krutika, Kardegayan. Now, if you notice it here, guys, let me go to here. What is the importance of this? You can see seventh question. All of you see, as I told you, DDT. Anybody can tell the DDT full form? Arvind, Arun Gardhigayan, DDT full form. DDT. Dichloro, dipter. Yeah. Dichloro, diphenyl, dichloroethane. Remember that once again, I'm saying DDT is the most dangerous chemical which has been banned even 1972 itself usa understanding majority of the european countries and all they have been banned so all of you answer this question please read the question and answer the question let me see who will answer first so if you'll see they are saying that ddt was sprayed in a lake to regulate breeding of mosquitoes how would it affect the tropic levels in the following food chain associated with a lake? Justify your answer, they are saying. So they are using it for what purpose, guys? They are using it for lake. purpose to regulate the breeding of mosquitoes. But this will be deposited on the where it will be deposited on the aquatic environment. It means aquatic plants and aquatic, aquatic animals. So that is only what we used to call raw. Planktons. Planktons called as what? Anybody can tell me? Algae. Algae is the example of plankton. Yes or no, Arvind? Please respond, guys. So, plankton is the example of, we have it two things, a small organisms. That is only phytoplanktons and as well as zooplanktons. Do you remember? Ra? Please respond. So, yes, this plankton, so both we used to call it as, one is animal, aquatic plants, free floating like alga, algae, and as well as small aquatic animals, which are floating and become a uh, food for other organisms. That is only together we used to call it as plankton. So, plankton are two types. One is phyto, another one is what guys? Another one is zooplankton. Mm. So, next it will be eaten by the small fish. Small fish will be eaten by the large fish. Large fish, next, large fish will be eaten by the hawk. Hawk means a type of birds. Now, what they are asking, justify your answer. So, DDT was sprayed in a lake to regulate breeding of mosquitoes. Do you understand everybody? So, how would it affect the tropic levels in the following food chain associated with the lake, they are asking. So, now you please tell me. First of all, DDT being used a non-biodegradable pesticide. Yes or no, guys? That is why it is very dangerous. Yes, Ra. So, that it is what? A non-biodegradable 
biodegradable pesticide so that what is happening it will be deposited in first home guys directly hawk or planktons where it will be deposited please respond aquatic environment so aquatic environment too it will be deposited to planktons because they only it will be first starting stage of producers understanding so they are the primary one in the aquatic environment so the first tropic level plankton it will be deposited so next from where what will happen guys you tell me so these biodegradable non biodegradable pesticides they will accumulate progressively at each trophic level plankton to fish fish to large fish large fish to hawk so finally where the maximum effect will be guys maximum maximum uh, the, like uh, level it will be deposited maximum accumulation will be in where please respond highest level is hawk so here is the maximum, understanding maximum accumulation of ddt that is what you need to remember so because they are the they are the what high level organisms in this food chain so that hawk will be have the highest level of pesticides so this is what you have to make it so how this tropic levels in the following food chain associated with the lake justify your answer they are saying so that half mark half mark one mark and half mark it will be coming so this phenomena is only wish to say what is the phenomena guys this uh, accumulating of accumulating of pesticides what is the phenomena anybody can say name name please what is the logical magnification yes. biological magnification biological, biological magnification that is what you have to write it understand that? so we have to write it is the biological magnification that is what it is so that is need to you have to write answer how to write ddt is being a what is non biodegradable pesticide which will enter through the food chain from the which level guys from the first tropic level called as planktons understand so next to planktons too it will be accumulate the pesticide will accumulate progressively at each tropic level from plankton to small fish small fish to large fish large fish to hawk so this phenomena is only what we used to call raw biological magnification biological magnification continuous accumulation and the last maximum highest level of pesticides or maximum accumulation of pesticides we can see in where high level organisms like hawk yes or no guys please respond that is what you should answer okay next or else they are asking down question you can see so as i taught you or not this one yalni varshini please respond as i taught you or not this one even planktons phytoplanktons and zooplanktons clearly i taught you with a micro that the structures also 8500 times we have been magnified the bacteria that structure also i have been shown you and same way 300 times uh, magnified fungi also i have shown so which will come under zooplanktons and as well as uh, phytoplanktons so now r is r question read all of you in the following food chain vertical arrows indicates the energy lost to the environment so here energy lost means which law guys 10% law do you remember 10% law sir yes so 10% law so very important one krutika can you able to answer this question please in the in the following food chain vertical arrows indicates the energy lost to the environment and horizontal arrows indicates the energy transferred to the tropic level so energy loss what we used to call community heat is it yes or no guys please respond community heat that is only we can say from each tropic level some heat am heat energy will loss that is only we used to call as community heat yes or arvin now if you notice yes, so you can see this one vertical arrows indicates the loss of energy and horizontal arrows indicates the next tropic level which one of the three arrows like this is what we can see they are saying this is what so now if you notice it here which one of these three vertical arrows a c e a c e what